think well, all these people going crazy about seed oils i'll tell you right now seed oils are not the problem with america right like, they're not even a problem right like to to make it a problem is stupid mm -hmm. and so all these people like seed oils ah seed oils it's like that's right. not what's killing america right food dies like, okay let's get rid of all the seed oils people are still gonna be fat i just saw i just saw this fucking thing on instagram the other day how like rfk met with the ceo of starbucks to like get rid of dyes in the drinks and get rid of like the high fructose stuff. And it's like, come on, man, is Starbucks really the fucking bane of all the health problems in the United States? Yeah, I think I there don't think so. are ways to make things healthier and there are ways to make things better. And like that, again, it goes to like education, you know, educating people on certain things like educating people that red meat isn't so bad for you mm -hmm. and educating people on, you know, different diets and different ways of eating. Um, you know, it's just, I think that we need more education in those areas mm -hmm. rather than, you know, just trying to ban things like banning things doesn't make anything better usually. Right. And then like the, then there's like, how, what's the right way to educate somebody on this stuff? You know, like there was a, uh, a Stanford surgeon, I forget what kind of surgeon, I think he was a, maybe a heart surgeon. And, uh, this came from, this guy's like really good friends with Andrew Huberman. And I think this was on the, the podcast with Andrew Huberman or no, I'm sorry. This was on a podcast with Jack uh, RFK Jr. and uh, Rick Rubin, where he oh, was yeah. saying Rubin, th yeah. this dude said that um, this high level heart surgeon from Stanford, I believe I might be getting that wrong. He might not be from Stanford. But anyways, he said that out of all of the medical literature and medical textbooks that are available today in all the universities, he said that more than 50% of it is wrong mm -hmm. or outdated I've from, heard that. from new research that's come out and proved that it's like it's not correct I've which heard, is crazy uh john ionitis who is from stanford he's a professor mm -hmm. from stanford and um he basically says if it was up to me i would take all of the nutritional <laughs> research mm -hmm. that has been done in this country and i would throw it in the garbage yeah because he's like, that's how much value it has, you know? I think that might be a little bit overboard. I think we, we do know certain things. Um, but like at the same time, like even if you look at what my brother Mark is doing, he's telling people like, hey man, maybe it's okay to eat sugar. Oh, in the, the form, sugar diet. In the form of fruit. Did you guys discuss that? We what? didn't. Yeah. We, I don't think we talked about that when he was in here, but I just saw that... Uh, I saw my friend Nick Norwitz. From yeah, I know Har Nick. Harvard. Nick's great. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. He uh, he made a video about it, and he was like, "It's not as bad as people think it is." He's like, "Well, he I recently, I like I, recently, I just went through some, you know, just some health issues with pain again, mm -hmm. and because I was going through all this pain, I wasn't lifting, um, I wasn't really eating great, I wasn't eating bad. I was doing like a still doing like a carnivore diet, but I would I would just eat way too many calories, mm -hmm. and so I, my weight got up to about two hundred and thirty four pounds. And normally I weigh about 190. Today, I think I weighed 204, 203, something like that. But the way I lost all that weight was fruit and fruit smoothies every day. Like really? just, yeah, yeah, just with sugar. And so, so what is the I went idea on Mark's podcast that? and talked about it and everybody hates you for it. Like, you're like, listen, don't hate me. I'm just delivering a message. Eventually I'm gonna start losing muscle, but I'm also on testosterone. I'm right. also lifting, you know, so it's like, I just wanted to drop a bunch of weight fast. Mm -hmm. So I basically did that every day. And then um, three or four times a week at night, I would have a meal of maybe like rice and chicken. Mm. And that was it. And so it was like, and I would I would actually drink three or four sm fruit smoothies in a day. I'd make them myself at home. I'd just buy a bunch of wow. different juices and a bunch of frozen fruit and I'd blend them up, cool, drink a smoothie down, go yeah. about my day. Um, I don't know enough about it like Mark does. Mark's like the sort of expert on it. The idea behind the the sugar diet is it's supposed to be you're supposed to be dropping weight when you're doing it, right? Like, so you're doing you're basically like fasting, but you're getting glucose in. So you're not really fasting. And um I don't know. I I don't even really could, could tell you like uh exactly like how and why it it mm -hmm. works, but what you're doing is like your body can't store car your body. It's really hard for your body to store carbohydrates as fat. So although, and Mark and I have been guilty of this. We even launched a war on carbs a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We would always tell people don't eat carbs. You know, you don't need carbs. And, um, and I, I still don't think that you need them, but 
this way works also mm. is what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, so um, I, the way basically I, I, I think the way that it works is you're still just lowering your calories. Mm -hmm. Like if you're just eating fruit and fruit smoothies, it's like, it doesn't have that many, doesn't yeah. have that much calories in it. Right. I'm not dumping sugar in there or anything else. Yeah. I mean, I, I just started uh, last week. I just decided that I'm going to go back to like hardcore, low carb diet, like, like almost keto. And it is just, thing about it is it's so hard it's so difficult especially yeah. when you have three fucking kids and your wife doesn't give a shit about any diet you're doing she just like there's stuff everywhere there's pasta here there's chips over here there's like why well, did i did, I did butter carnivore. And jellies laying around my house and it's like uh, you know i helped like i helped like sean baker sort of spearhead the carnivore movement in the beginning you know like i mm -hmm. what happened was like um so i saw sean baker on joe rogan's podcast mm -hmm. And I had also done these diets where you just eat meat like back in 1992. I did it like when I, when I was at USC film school, I was also powerlifting and competing in powerlifting. And I met some other powerlifters that told me I was too fat and I needed to lose weight. And mm -hmm. I said, well, I don't know how. And the guy just said, eat red meat, drink water. Okay. For how long? He's like, till you're not fat. So I did it. Mm. And I, you know, I went from maybe 242 down to like 198 and I would lift at 198. So I'd lost like 40 something pounds wow. doing this. So I knew that it was effective, but I didn't really know it had any health benefits until uh -huh. I saw Dr. Sean Baker on Joe Rogan's podcast. I said, like, this guy's really on to something. I used to do that a long time ago, but I stopped doing it, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So I did the carnivore diet for the past like seven years and I've gone off of it here and there. I'd go like off and on and yeah. try different things. But I think a carnivore diet is a, a great base. But what I've, what I learned um, shortly after being on the carnivore diet for, I think I was on the carnivore diet for two or three months. And then Mark and I went on Joe Rogan's podcast and we talked about eating a diet of meat and fruit. Mm. And um, I don't know if it went over everybody's head or whatever, but like basically, uh, you know, we've had people like Dr. Paul Saladino come to our gym and he was having some problems with his hormones. And so Mark and I told him to eat fruit, like, hey, try to eat fruit. He was totally against it. But now he's all for it because he's yeah. went and researched it. And I think that kind of is the best diet, a diet of like meat, fruit and vegetables. You really can't go wrong. Mm. I don't think you need to cut out all your carbohydrates but you need to find better carbohydrates. Better carbohydrates. I think they're, Get them from your fruits and vegetables. I think they're natural. in your fruits and vegetables, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the, pro that's the you problem. You might have to cut some starches. Starches tend to ha hold weight on people. Is Paul Saladino, is he the dude who made the video about how he goes on when he travels, he brings a, a backpack full of coconuts with him? Oh yeah, yeah, he's made all sorts of crazy, you know. Like, how are you cracking the coconut on the plane? Do you have a knife? Are you allowed to bring a fucking giant oh, I don't know machete what, with you on the plane and chop those doing. coconuts in half? Like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Seems a little um, unreasonable. Paul's a good dude. He like he's a guy that was, um, you know, sort of at that the head of the carnivore movement. He mm -hmm. even wrote a book called The Carnivore Code, and then um, completely changed his mind and added a bunch of fruit to the diet. But see, I understand that. I yeah. think that's the way people should evolve. Yeah. But I also really credit Dr. Sean Baker for sticking to his guns. Yeah. So like the carnivore diet is, it's fucking awesome. It works. It's effective. Uh, you can tell the difference, the way you feel your energy, your, it's your just hard. Met mental clarity. Yeah. That's the thing. It's just, it requires so much fucking discipline. Yeah. It's crazy. You gotta, if you have a family and like I have, a, I live with my girlfriend and like, she doesn't want to eat meat every, right. and she doesn't have to. She's in great shape. Yep. Like, what am I going to tell her to eat meat? Like, hey. It takes a lot, man. She doesn't need to get right. in better shape. So it's like, what am I going to tell her? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't know. I think if it works for you and you're single and you can just do it, I think yeah. I think it's great. But I, I also don't think you need to do it. 